Well, here we are. We've got everything, all the wires routed, hooked up, greased up, loomed up, and taped up. So we'll start here. Got a clamp in there, clamp there. Ground wires hooked up, routes along, T's into it. I don't have the alternator wires hooked up. I won't do that until I get it, um, the dash hooked up and everything. I don't want any little sparks or surprises while I'm in there. So, the only thing, I don't have a clamp. It'd be nice to have one in there somewhere. That would probably do it. I've got a little bit of space along in here that don't have a clamp, but anyhow, we'll run up into the dash. I debated on covering that hot wire to the pump and uh, decided to just leave it open, just like the other bigger wires were open or not covered. So, but that runs along there. And we move the back light was over on the other side but it just I couldn't get the bracket down low enough I couldn't get the light to stop hitting the bottom of the seat so there were already holes there and I just decided to go ahead and move it there I really didn't main reason I didn't want it over here I just didn't want that wire going across that tube and I don't really I don't like the zip ties but they work I'd rather a little bit more substantial mechanical connection so, but nonetheless, it was just too busy over here. So we put her there. Um, I think I need to, I need to do some cleaning on there make sure I got a good ground. And then once we get them turned on, we'll get them all snubbed up and adjusted. But there's how it looks up here. There's my dash. I haven't made any connections inside the dash yet. They're, uh, they're all just stubbed up in there and coiled up. So, but we just got all the all the connections done tonight and um, everything hooked up in wire loom. There we are there. That little wire there will just bend right down and hook right onto the starter there. And that'll be my hot wire for the alternator to the uh, battery and to the um, amp meter. So there's how we have it hooked up there. Got a clamp there. And I put a clamp there. I had to do a little spacer on that guy to get him out so the wire didn't cut into the back side of that boss. But I got dielectric grease on that post in there because it grounds through that. And like I say, the only thing I'll have to do is where the lights mount, I'll have to clean that up a little bit, make sure it's got contact. And then I'll put some grease on it and uh, we'll snug them all down. So, but that's our setup. That's where we're at with it. I'll do one more video on the wiring after I get it running just to. Demonstrate the lights, ammeter, and the switch, and then we are done with the wiring. So, thanks for watching.